Now I think we're about 75 or 80 percent through this game. Ish. <laughs> Probably. Uh, so we'll see. If I finish this today quickly and want to stream something else, uh, we'll be streaming a game called Paradise Marsh, which I brought yesterday when I brought Frog Detective, which is a, a game about catching bugs and chatting with delightful characters while wandering through peaceful scenery. So it sounds pretty cute. And that came out uh, early this month. So I'm excited to play that. So you may get to that today, or that might be like a next week sort of thing. We'll see. Yeah, we might have to spend some time doing some sick tricks on the scooter. That's true, that's true. We can't rush uh, the things we love, you know? You're okay, thanks. How are you doing? I'm alright. Alright, I can feel my PMS creeping up. I can feel it. Hearing its ugly head trying to make me sad and doubt. <laughs> I'm trying to push it back. <laughs> when you said next week I got sad and then remembered what day it is. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. Oh no indeed. Okay, I had two hot chocolates today. That's pretty good. All in all. Hey Katarina, how you doing? Do not trust it. No, oh, thanks, you were. I'm trying my best. It's hard though. Hello. Oh. Wow, I thought I was gonna be kept safe there. Well, that was a safety bar barrier. It's not. <laughs> yeah, very poggers indeed. I had one this morning. Oh, this is a barrier. That's not a barrier. <laughs> I had one this morning, and then one after tea as a treat because I felt the PMS coming on and I was like, no, no. I'm very sorry, but I had to kill a large frog boy today. I saw that you were fighting a large frog boy. <laughs> God damn it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Not all frogs are lawful good, you know? Not like frog detective. He's lawful good. <laughs> Sleepy too. Treat yourself, it's the weekend, exactly. I have some fancy hot chocolates I've had for months. Oh, I had a fancy hot chocolate sometime this week that was one of those um, like chocolate balls that you put in hot water, no, hot milk. You're not, not really hot water, you just put it in hot milk. Um, and it's got like mini marshmallows inside. Oh, it was so good. I've never had one before, I don't think, it was good. Not all frogs. Hey Leonor, how you doing? Okay, let's talk to this boy. Aw, oh, thirsty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Oh. Answers to what? Questions? What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bobblehead? And more. I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? <laughs> the sun could be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. <laughs> is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> it's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. 
and I am just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Haha. <laughs> Haha. Don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. <laughs> hey Nick, how you doing? Yeah, he probably does have a bit of a creepy voice. Oh, I'm no cowboy, I'm dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever, I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down it gets so muddled, nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me, I won't judge. Hmm, okay. Um. Oh. Cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Damn, that was beautiful. <laughs> That's my poem. <laughs> Jenny poetry audiobook went when someone pays me to do it. <laughs> Just pay me and I'll do it. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. Do you need help work workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. <clears throat> I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. <laughs> oh no, from his sack. How about that? Near the tracks. Which one, chat? I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal near the tracks. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. How about that? Hmm. How about that? Okay. How about that? Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. How about that? He finished quickly, smart and short, then headed off. Towards the store. To get some more. Because he was bored. <laughs> Which one, chat? <laughs> Second? Okay. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. <laughs> There was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock! No chat participation on this one. The goblin. It's the goblin one. <laughs> yeah, Roxy. I was like, oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. Thing? It's a goblin. <laughs> Thanks on you, Jenny. Chat chose the goblin one anyway. Damn it. How was I supposed to know? Nothing there, just empty space. Okay. Nothing there, just empty space. Ooh, plot twist, okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover nothing there, just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, 
and off he went, back to bed, feeling like an egghead, to tell his friend Ned, no, we don't want Ned. Worst try guy. One or two. <laughs> Back to bed. I think Sarah said two when for the last one, not this one. One, okay. <laughs> the cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! You thought Ned tried, guys? I thought Ned Spider Man. I, I didn't, I had no idea there was a Ned in Spider Man. It's perfect, the perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. Wasn't a problem at all, I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do, but every time I start a new project, I like to use new, new tools. That's not very... That's not, that's not good, Dusty. You need to use the things you own. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. <laughs> oh, it's Peter's best friend. Oh, I had no idea. We have so many things. Okay. Yeah, please be sustainable. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful picture. <laughs> Done. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Not great at budgeting. <laughs> nope. To write a resume. So Rhonda needs it, right? The writing supplies, not the other oh. Just me on my scooter, ready to go. <laughs> ready for some scooting. Oh, wait. oh. Hey. Yeah. I didn't mean to talk to you. Sorry. My bad. His motive? Wait, what was his motive? Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that makes sense. Some clue investing with a magnifying glass. Sports! Oh. Hey Rain, how you doing? Thank you for the sports. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how'd you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. <laughs> Sounds boring. <laughs> but thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. <laughs> We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. <laughs> I'm sleepy, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Wait, but I'm sleepy. Hmm. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing, I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Do you want to know what it's for? Nope, not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Alright, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now, thanks so much. No worries, partner. Fake ID got. Oh. <laughs> Cute.
Scooter. It's the only way to travel. Whoa! You see that? Damn it, I'm a spammer. Sick. <laughs> okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here is your fake ID. Yes! It's rules, it looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. You <laughs> like Susie and Rhonda best. <laughs> it worked. Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no. <laughs> he should call you the burglar. <laughs> I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map. Map of crime. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Show me the crime map. Where it be? Can I click on the... or is it here? Oh, I think it's just a thing that exists, not a thing I can look at. Oh. Boredom? No, I'm never bored and I hate crime. Needs to be number one. Always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. Damn, you do be right. At least we have scooters though. One prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. <laughs> and my soft little fingers. Get a frog burglar get oh you're right. I've never related more to a frog detective. It is confusing. He's right, he's so smart. Flowers. I needed three, right? Yeah. Hello? Sherman? Wow, look at you! Huh? Your jumper! Your vacant smile! Those piercing eyes! Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modelling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. <laughs> uh, is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I want my goblin energy to work and my work friend asked for your store. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I think you rain for showing them my store. That's very cute. What did we need them for again? Someone wanted three the oh the for the stew. Three cactus flowers. That was that's what it was for. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> because of your good looks. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks, you look great. It was like, you could like steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. Missing hearts? You've stolen them. <laughs> Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humour. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? 
That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in the mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking. Because I'm an outlaw. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw Rhonda Dynamite was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Howard County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. As soon as I, I said it rained, as soon as I was like, thank you for showing them, I was like, either he'll say he didn't or he'll make a joke. <laughs> it's too late now, I've said it. The words have left my mouth. <laughs> Sherman's got a little cool words. A little ship. Berman. <laughs> Show detective or detect man. <laughs> Berman. <laughs> yeah, detect man is your next tip. I like that. <laughs> Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. No, I do not. <laughs> not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Mm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgement, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea, do you know? Nope. Figures. <laughs> Alternative shog. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Digs ring. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive. Uh, but I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Reference to the other game. <laughs> Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, uh, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it, exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that'd be probably be better, yeah. <laughs> Instead of be ordering froggy goodies for his girlfriend for Christmas. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, Toto, how you doing? You're eating food? What are you eating? I'll trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. Okay. Information got. I hope in the notes it says that he's flirting with me. I don't know, I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is the suspect. <laughs> I refuse to be charmed. I will not allow it. Oh. Fuck you, love stop. I mean, love you. Suspicious. Suspicious boy here. Ship, ship, shog is cannon. <laughs> Scooter out here whilst you can. 
Oh, not that. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. Oh, we're fucking going down, alright. <laughs> oh. Forgot we had a ladder. Okay, it's just a key. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. That's what the ladder's for, yeah. There's <laughs> someone clip Jenny saying, fuck you, lobster cop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. Thank God. So lucky. Oh, is that look? Is that a flower there? Yeah, it is. Ah! Do it better. Better more. Damn it! Hold on. <laughs> yeah, one-way ladder. Got to use your other materials to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Cactus flower. Nice. Sixth bin. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh my god, hi. <laughs> He's so evil looking. Goodbye, I must leave. My people need me. He's stolen all the hats. I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. The flavour isn't quite right yet. Could you get me more ca Oh, you need more? Oh, shit. How many did you need? Funny. Crimson some ca Oh. Damn. Uh, okay. What do I have? Carrots money. I have the money for the carrots. Oh, missed. Again. Oh, missed. One more. Okay. Another one. Yeah. Nailed it. First time. Hello. Oh, can I get them from you? Okay. You oh, hold on. Can I just look at the carrots? Alright. Do you have the money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. I knew it was a scorpion all along. <laughs> Maybe the hat is the friends we made along the way. Oh. Flashbacks to riding bikes in Pokemon? Oh no. Actually, I remember that. I played a Pokemon game once. Was it Pokemon? Yeah. Right? Hmm. My memory is fading. I simply went next door and brought some. <laughs> That's so cool. Love them to the stew. That's so cool you went next door. Was probably Pokemon, yeah. There's so many of them it's hard to avoid, yeah. A sexy fishnet about them. That's right. Hello, Jack. How did the dudes go? One prickly cactus, good thing. Oh, we're doing the same thing again. <laughs> Most things have. Oh, that's enough? Okay. That's true, if all these people just talk to each other. Oh, we have been watching Taskmaster, yeah. Although, is there a new. We haven't watched the new one this week, assuming there's a new one this week. I don't think, anyway. Pretty sure. Hmm. I might be incorrect, actually.
Yes, yeah, very happy to hear Buddy's home. The stickers on the book are so cute. They've carried over through the last game, so good. The new one this week is hilarious. Ooh, hell yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Allow them to the stew. I really wish you'd told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Uh huh, did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. <laughs> she don't give a shit. I don't care. The snake at the piano. He'd be doing his best. Okay, excellent. Oh, we need to go back to Craig. Right. And then we can go to Lobster Cop for the map. Give me scooter. Let's go. Hey, pirate. Yes. Your question? Yes. Hello? So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away. I suppose I can only be so smart. <laughs> I suppose that's true. It's okay if I take a photocopy of this. That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. Aww, Paradise was scrambling for eight months! Frog. I agree. You're very wise. I hope you're doing well. The free room music is way too good. It is really good. I believe you can buy the soundtrack. You could at least buy the soundtrack to the second one, so I assume you can for this. Zero thoughts, Craig, is it? Yeah. If you don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. <laughs> Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. <laughs> That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what you mean about zero thoughts. Look at Craig. He's got so many thoughts behind these eyes. Oh. She blinked at me. The cat. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dialogue is really good. <laughs> Frog Detective has to overthink. It's like his job. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? I have a pickaxe for you. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I love that. Thanks. But also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel. 
for now. Offers open. Maybe after I've solved the case. <gasps> okay. Hell yeah. Hey Tombo. How you doing? Maybe Dickers? I hope he didn't do it. <laughs> Frog detective gone fuck. <laughs> you see them on a date in the end screen. Yeah, me too. In the credit scene. Do I have everything for you? I'm too lazy to read. <laughs> I'll just read this. So, you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. Hmm. I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. You just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. All yours. Enjoy. Isn't detective a rank above cop? <laughs> Not here. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. We're in, boys. Private investigator, true. Oh, that one's sus, isn't it? Oh, that one's sus. All oh, these sus boys. Oh. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. Oh, <laughs> whoops. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Definitely busy doing leader things, uh huh. Oh. oh my god. Great, I found the hats! I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Oh yeah, we got the hats. I'm sure that's the end of it. What was in here? <laughs> Could I have gone in? No? Okay. Couldn't have gone in. Hello? GG. Oh. oh I can't scooter in the graveyard. the mole. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. I'm so happy we solved this and everything is fine now. <laughs> the first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I'm nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. How about that? He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover Nothing there, just empty space. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> oh, I'm take this. Wow, beautiful. Tombo, you missed it. At the, at the start of the stream, we spoke to him and we like helped him finish off the poem. And we had like three or two or three different options to like end each sentence. And one of the options was goblin on a rock. And we were like, oh, yeah, I'll pick that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Of course I'm picking the goblins. <laughs> Sneaky goblins captured perfectly, exactly. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <laughs> Whoa, look at her trousers. Wow. I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the, clay, in the case of the missing hats. Oh, there is whispering. Well, I want to know what that is. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. <laughs> yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. As me. Quiet please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Oh no. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. <laughs> Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! Damn, that's some pretty damning evidence right there. <laughs> Those angry eyebrows speak for themselves. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? <laughs> I don't. Someone's drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective. You have a big motive. A motive? What? You come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Oh my god. Weird head shape. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. Seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody else would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. <laughs> well, we haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. <laughs> what? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. <laughs> I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. A punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Moore. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well in that case... Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh no, wrong detective. <laughs> Mason Mold is inventing prison, what the fuck? <laughs> Achievement unlocked, bad room. I grin, I hate it. Scooter away, go on the run. 
We would love to take under the giant boiling pot. Was he sad on the loading screen? Oh, I missed it. Oh my god. So sad. Just wanna go home to slippery <laughs> Break us out, sloth. <gasps> oh my god, if the sloth breaks us out. Come on. We must remain hopeful. Please. <laughs> Soft. <laughs> Starring Lobster Cop as number one best detective. Frog Detective is the burglar. <laughs> and Mary is young Frog Detective? Oh my god, the song! Special thanks, Lobster Cop, Mason Wall. Special apologies, Frog Detective fans, Optimists, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Kylie Minogue, I feel like should be upset, <laughs> friends and family. There's still time left on the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. <laughs> Turns out it was just like, ah. Oh my god, he's so sad. This is the best ending to any game ever. What is happening? Frog Detective's in jail. Oh my god, I hate Lobster Cop. <laughs> Garbage man. What happened in Degrassi? <laughs> Roxy, how could you say that? He's not in jail, he's in the bad room. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, I, I misspoke. Stupid real life terms. Juana Taha. What an excellent name. The legally distinct jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a laptop? <laughs> it's a chonky laptop. It's not all bad. <laughs> it's a Swedish bad room, yes, thank you. There's no toilet, only a laptop. <laughs> To my loyal frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I'm innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding as is the case with most of the mysteries I'm involved in. <laughs> it would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I'm grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. 
though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog detective. <laughs> kiss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the kiss. Is that a real website? I wouldn't put it past them that that's a real website. Oh! <gasps> Mystery monkey! This is terrible! I can't believe this! What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. Frog blog blog post. <laughs> Sorry, let me... Frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? <laughs> Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? <laughs> oh. I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Oh my god, where are we going? Oh shit. We'll read the blog after. Remind me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Magical monkey transformation. <laughs> Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, mystery monkey's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Look at them walk. A little later. Oh. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realise this is highly unusual, but I am here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The incredible Sandy Moth Pie? <laughs> no, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I'll send my top two investigators to help over... I sent my top two investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole, that name sounds familiar. Oh, I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. Hmm? When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. That blasted mole. <laughs> I hurry to get my pills and take them, be back. This is too exciting. Okay, Sarah, go. I'll walk really slowly to the door. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Monkey. It's just called Monkey. Should we take this time to look at the website? 
I want to have a brief look. I assume it's not spoilery though. Is it spoilery? <laughs> wow, the mouse the pointer thing. Wow, sick. Mystery monk. There's like commenters. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Okay. We've stalled for long enough. Oh, he's got his doors closed. Interesting. I shouldn't snoop in loves to cop's office unless I really have to. Okay. Check behind the doors. <laughs> What's this? Clue detecting powder? How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Detect clues, left click. Oh. Yes, I need grabbed the thing. Ooh, gross. It's like I'm sneezing it onto things. Oh. Clue. Oh. Clues. <laughs> Where are we going? Are we going in here? Huh? It couldn't be. Prefer her snorting it. Yeah, exactly. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? <gasps> Photocopy of Frog Detective's notebook. Copy the detective's notebook. <gasps> A Lobster Cop and Mason Moore. <laughs> That's pretty cute, though. A note. I wonder if Mason Mole is on the first picture that was already on the Frog Detective's wall. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. It reads... Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. <laughs> so, I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. <laughs> but if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Oh, Jesus. We need to clip that just in case Sarah missed all of it. I clipped it. This can't be true. Lobster Cop, the number one best detective, a fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There's been a terrible misjustice. Told the pile of shit is still shit, <laughs> as my dad always says. <laughs> this sounds like real life politics and I don't like it at all. just a do not enter sign in front of the shops instead of a door. Back what happened? 
Sarah, you, ha you need to watch a clip. <laughs> the link is inexpensive, splendid, herd, whole wheat. <laughs> you need to at least look at the picture in the last bit. In the meantime, everyone take a sip of water. I need to. It's been an hour. <laughs> I've not taken a sip of water yet. Taken a sip of water. Hashtag free from detective, exactly. Mince pie eating time, oh my god. Oh, this is close too. Took a sip of water, excellent. The bandits. I'd like to speak to the manager. I received no chins today. Really? What the fuck? Twitch was having some issues earlier, but it was with like VODs and shit, so I don't know. Oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> You're out of water. Oh no, you need some water. Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We hear about our good friend, the frog detective. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one so kind, poetic and thoughtful also be a stealer of all our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... <laughs> Sherman, no! <laughs> a really trusted frog detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. <gasps> Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. Mm, doesn't matter anyway. Frog detective is innocent. Huh, sure. We all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. <laughs> Sherman, it's okay. Sherman, you call yourself an outlaw. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't the end of the game, of course. <laughs> Sherman, it'll be alright. He's into good boys. <laughs> Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? <laughs> Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do to so who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? You could point us in the direction <laughs> that tumbleweed either bounced right off Monkey's head or spawned there. Oh, yeah, it was bouncing. <laughs> If you could point this in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. <laughs> Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in the bad room, at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. <laughs> My bad. He's asleep. He's got a, a wheelie chair. So, yeah, I know. I saw that he was a ghost. <laughs> I wondered if anyone would notice. Go to a museum and grab a painting because Frog Detective has been framed. <laughs> oh. Hello, my child. Yep. Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room, or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. <laughs> what? 
Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Moore was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Moore planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mall once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Because you were the best detective frog. <laughs> He blends in with the barn. <laughs> Not now. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look how he just hadn't noticed him beforehand. <laughs> Wait a minute. Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> uh, what? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime! Please stop trying to invent crimes, crime is not real. <laughs> As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like something- it feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. Ah, uh, I knew we would have seen him back there. I remember seeing him when I played the game for the first time, but we didn't look when we played the other day. Checks how good their ass is. The Frog Detective lesson number three. Don't write down your crime on play, but <laughs> no. <laughs> what? I never. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <laughs> no, I... No, that's not. I... Oh no, his face. Oh. 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 Is he with you? This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself, and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. 
I needed work. <laughs> so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help, or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map, Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. <laughs> Once you had the resources to, to oh, once you had the resources to dig up the hats, and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take a photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyes on the photo of you. <laughs> but what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. <laughs> bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realise this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole. You've done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to Bad Room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have, abu you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behaviour. I'm mad at you both. <laughs> oh. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. <gasps> I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. The cop no longer. <laughs> His face. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? <laughs> Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. <laughs> That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. <laughs> okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Oh. <laughs> Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty? Posty Mason Mole? Do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behaviour that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Yeah, their names changed, it was cute. <laughs> yeah, narrative about prison abolishment. Say, now that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no, one, no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! Wow, congratulations Mystery Monkey! What an achievement! <laughs> I can't believe it! Thank you so much! I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time! You can move into my old office! There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep! Great! 
What an honour to work next door to, to the number one best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posty. Posty Mason Mall. Yeah? You're invited too. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Prop detective. Oh. He's just happy to be there. He doesn't want to be number one best detective. Oh my god, hell yeah. The famous group. Too good for this world, yeah. Yeah, he just lives for the joy of mystery solving, exactly. We're here, number two. We're here, number two. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Grace designed the bad bits. <laughs> oh, hey, Kanek. Thanks so much for gifting two subs. Oh, Bryce got it. Um, DC Bradshaw got it. That's cool. Thank you so much, Kanek. Hi. Hope you're doing good. I hate that they were invited. <laughs> I made you and I can destroy you, Grace. <laughs> A <laughs> full sending was brilliant. I want to know if we go on a date with what's his face. God, look at lobster posty. Go. Two weeks later. Oh. Oh, there we are. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday! Thanks so much! I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're number one best detective! I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. <laughs> I love that they called each other. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kanek. Oh, it's just replaced the lobster cop's head. <laughs> At first I was like, why is... What's happened to the monkey's neck? They've just replaced all of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it checks out to me. Alright, it looks great in here. Hey, detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. Just a joke. <laughs> Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know, I was just joking. You've got me worried. <laughs> that really stresses me out. Frog detective number one, frog detective number two, now frog detective three? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Yeah, surprise! <laughs> wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. 
It worked. That's not all, detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Wisbay. Oh, special birthday delivery. Oh my God, look at them short shorts. Is that for me? Open it up. <gasps> Happy birthday. Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Well, don't you just try it on? Why don't you just try it on? <laughs> so Larry wasn't lobster coming in. No. Larry was just Larry. Yeah, well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. <laughs> oh, single tear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's very cute. Uh oh. Our latest toast science discovery jam. Love Mo and Mystery Monkey. Oh, these are cute. So who's gonna write the Sherman Frog Detective date fanfic, right? Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. Celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. Oh my god, Poggies. Oh, finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, TM. Oh my god. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. Oh! <gasps> Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. XO Sherman. Yes. Cannon. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Oh! can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's a, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading, Bernie. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. <laughs> Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Oh, Ship. <gasps> we are not the same guy. <laughs> Larry and Lobster Posty. My first day of cowboy school. Oh my god. Employee of the month at the post office. <laughs> that one was for you, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Hell yeah. So many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea. I love this so much, right? Isn't it cute? We performed together at the latest dance contest. <laughs> we came third. Aww. <gasps> Mary? Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later. Yes, queen. Get it. Oh no. <laughs> I broke my leg. <laughs> Muddy, what the fuck? I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. <laughs> oh no, so wrinkly. Finally met my hero lobster cup. I mean lobster posty. <laughs> All I want is date pigs. That was really cute. I liked that. Is so really cute. The end. <laughs> so, chat, what did you think? I couldn't like tell from your reactions what you thought of the game. Is it good? <laughs> 
Do you, do you like it or? <laughs> I couldn't tell. God, the credits were cute. They went on a date. We can just canonically say that they lived happily, happily ever after. You're on the fence, that's fair. That's understandable. A 5 out of 10, I only cried once. It's fair, it's reasonable. Do we have music here? We had music at one point. That's alright, I guess. <laughs> Best game, we abolished prison and got rid of cops. <laughs> Two in one. I really fucking enjoyed that. I'm glad you guys did too. Frog Detective is like my favorite, like games. <laughs> we played this for 3.4 hours, damn. This was the longest one so far. That might not be totally accurate because you know I stop to talk every now and again. Oh, what achieve- we've missed three achievements, shit. And Frog went on a date, true. Three hidden achievements, damn it. Shit. <laughs> What happens if we continue an old game? Where do we end up? Definitely seemed like the longest one. Yeah, yeah. Froggy went a corn. Oh no. Never mind. Guess we need to start over. More games need to be written like this is the perfect game start. I agree. I agree. That's why we like later alligator so much. And Clam Man 1. Are there any other games that are similar that I'm forgetting right now? I feel like there might be, but I can't remember. Uh, let me show you the game we'll be playing on Monday. I don't think I'll play it now. Because I assume it's bedtime. Oh, mute the tab. Add. Window capture. It's called a paradise moth. No, oh, get, get out of here. So, uh, it is a very fucking cute game. I'm really excited to play it. There's no audio right now. It's alarming me. Uh... Oh, my final review for Frog Detective. You should absolutely play Frog Detective and give it money. If you want to give it money. If you can give it money. Big yes. I'm excited to see what else uh, these creators make. I hope it's more stuff like this. Don't do a clam man. I beg. <laughs> So it's going to be a, a very cute little game. Catch bugs and chat with delightful creatures while wandering through peaceful scenery. And don't lose sight of the night sky. The constellations need help. Don't clam man to it. Yeah, please don't. It's a short game. So we'll probably finish it in one stream. But I'm very excited to play it. Rain World. Edgy. Oh, the witness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game seems intense. Yeah, it's a, a complete 180. To a uh, frog detective, for sure. Rain World is not like... Yeah, I hovered over it and I was like, it may not look similar, but okay. <laughs> but alright, sure. Steam suggestions is sometimes just like, I don't know, you might, maybe you'll like this one, whatever. Sure, I'll try it. Webbed. Oh, it's a bit of a... Chicken Journey. Oh, wait, I've seen this one. It's not out yet, right? Upcoming, yeah. What's the demo, though? This looks cute. It plays a tiny little mushroom who's lost in the forest. Oh, 
capybara. That looks pretty cute. Look, it's also a game so similar. You'll like this. Panic Porcupine. Oh, Sonic then. Looks like Sonic. Caves of could could could. What's up? The usual making dope m maps. I thought I said hats, and I was like, oh my god, frog detective. <laughs> Detective got got. All right. I'm going to end it here for the day so I can rest my throat. But thanks so much for chilling with me, everyone. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, maybe I need to draw some fan art of Frog Detective on a date. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. It was super cute. I'm so happy that it, it it like finally came out and we got to play it. Oh damn. Alright, good night everyone. Uh we should be playing D, D on Sunday, I think. Uh so I'll see you Sunday. If not, I'll see you in Discord. And if not, I'll see you Monday. Or like Tuesday or whatever. Whatever. Be good, look after yourselves. Bye. <laughs>